Spider-Man is a character I've grown up with since I was a kid. Same with like 99% of people. But the first Spider-Man game I played was Spider-Man Web of Fire. That game made my little brain complete. And I wanted to see if Spider-Man 2 could make my slightly bigger brain complete. So here's my journey of the 2023 Spider-Man 2 Platinum. And yes, this video is littered with spoilers. I mean, it's a 100% completion. What do you guys want from me? So I start the game just trying to learn the controls again. Yo! Oh, I'm so ready. Put me in, coach. Put me in. Oh! Oh my god. Dude, it's been so long since I've played Spider-Man. This shit feels nice. And then it was time to 2v1 Sandman. And yeah, I am playing on spectacular difficulty. I mess with this combat. I'm messing with it. It's a little different, oh, but it's still relatively the same. Like, his punches actually feel like... I'm packing some shit behind it. I'm not like holding. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. Vor. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. How did he get more speed coming out of the. Okay, wait a minute. I'm running up walls, bro. Like, like I'm in prototype. Oh. I don't know if I if, if that well, I don't know I don't know what I'm saying I'm I'm too excited. <laughs> oh please switch to wingsuit. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm creaming, bro. I'm creaming. Oh my god. Oh my god. What an intro. What an intro, Insomniac. Oh first trophy. You're gonna need help. <laughs> I am, dude. By the time I'm done with this, I'm gonna have experienced like 20 heart attacks. After that, we get the ability to unlock new suits. Damn, we got Piss Parker. Giving us the trophy, stylish. Then progressing farther in the story, we have a little bike ride and a flashback with Harry. Dude, the bicycle making that clicking sound. Every time it clicks, it vibrates my controller a little bit. I should put this shit on my nuts. Just like the first Spider-Man, there are a bunch of locations around the map where you have to take pictures. And once you discover the district like fully, it'll pop up and you just go to that location and then you take the picture. And then just like that, you get the trophy. And after the previous fight with Sandman, you get a bunch of collectibles opened up around him where you have to go to this one spot, fight a bunch of his goons and break open this crystal, which will reveal like a portion of his memory. Once you get all of those, you'll have like a final little boss fight with him. And then he'll ask you to deliver like a statue to his daughter. And then once you do that, you get the grains of sand trophy oh oh that's adorable she's okay she's cool wish i could do more though yeah you really can Maybe though Pete's lawyer friends could help bring this family together again Pete's lawyer friends grains of sand man that was such a tragic little collectible quest after that, we move back into the story where we have to guard a shipment with Martin Lee and Scorpion in it. And of course, both of them escape, making our problems way worse. Soon after that, though, while I'm swinging, I fail my trick and just splat on the ground. And then we begin our next collectible trophy. In order to open up this, though, we gotta switch to Miles and talk to our Uncle Aaron. Aaron tells us that he's hanging up the ropes, that he's no longer gonna be the Prowler. But he did leave a bunch of tech stashes around the map that he wants Miles to retrieve. Then after completing the last tech stash it's revealed to us that uncle aaron is moving above us in our apartment after that cutscene's over we get the trophy co-signing going back to peter now harry introduces us to the emily may foundation and offers us a job there then we go to one of craven's hidden bases and discover a new gadget we can use to stealth it's called the web line and it kind of trivializes the whole aspect of stealth. Personally, I think it makes it way too easy and you don't really have to think about anything, but that's just me. But after progressing further into the mission, we realize Craven has killed Scorpion. And after that mission's over, I switch to Miles and do a bunch of tricks for a job well done, getting me the trophy Hang 10. And now begins one of Miles' side quests. And they're all related to the school he goes to, Brooklyn Visions Academy. You just have to help four different students. And once you do all of that, they give you a gift, which is just a shitty outfit. What's this? Is this a new suit? Oh, is it the Brooklyn? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Captain America ass suit. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's cool. Brooklyn Pride? I'm just knock off Captain America. Since we just learned how to craft our new gadget, the web line, I get a trophy for stealth taking down 25 enemies with it. And then we run into Black Cat. Oh, oh, that's fucking awesome. Dude, Black Cat, just just help. I'm going... What? 
<laughs> what the fuck? Where am I? Holy shit, this looks beautiful. Oh my god. Take me back there. I want to live there forever. Bitch. Oh. Oh! Damn! We're going. Really? You could Okay. Teleport away from enemies. Thank you very much. They're just dodging everything. Damn. Oh, wait, that was clean. I'm about to fucking die, though. Fuck, man. Black Cat is no help. She just dips. That was Doctor Strange. Oh, my God. That, that, that was sick. That was sick. Then the group decides to go to Coney Island. Whoa, there we go. Woo! I love Coney Island. Damn, my boy. Peter Poutang Parker. Of course, disaster strucks Coney Island since Peter's there, but Harry's here to save the day. And the next mission is an MJ one. But guys, guys, I swear it's not even that bad. This is where we get one of the greatest upgrades in gaming history. Oh, finally we're, oh, never mind. We already lost. <laughs> Damn, broke it off too, what a bitch. Harry, you got no regard for us, man. You're trying to protect us, but you're gonna accidentally, accidentally kill us. Oh my god! That suit! The suit looks amazing! Oh! Show me what you got! Oh my god! Oh! This is so cool! Oh my lord! I didn't know he was gonna instantly be like pissed off. Oh my god, that fu dude, he's dead! Oh my god! I just, I'm, I just, oh my lord, I don't even know what to say. This is gas. This is gas. MJ mission was actually cool. Hold up. Holy shit! This suit looks insane! Oh, I got the black webs as well! <laughs> oh. After that mission turns sour, we have to find Craven again. So we plan out a heist. We're trying to find the big head honcho just below Craven. Turns out it's a fucking tiger. Eventually, we catch up to Craven and we need to get to him because he has the antidote to cure Dr. Connors. But during our face off, he figures out our biggest weakness. Either way, we get the antidote and now it's off to find Dr. Connors. Oh my god, you can see him in the back. Dude. Oh. Oh. He's literally right in front of you. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh wait, I can probably parry those. I should probably... Can't parry that. Oh, it's still not... Okay, I see. That was just the first bar. Oh! Oh man, I dodged. I knew he was going to come at me that fast. Pause. Oh my god. Meatball. Damn it, I always miss the... Jump! Fuck! Why do I keep dodging? I'm such an idiot. Oh no! Okay, at least it didn't like fall down that little like sewer hole. Oh! I did it! I did it! I'm cool, guys! I'm cool! I'm 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 I'm, I'm a fluke! I'm I'm a fucking fluke! <laughs> oh, there we go! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Petey boy! Petey boy, you're too good, man! Flying giant meatball! Destroy us! Us! Whoa! Whoa! You can't say us like that! You're one person, Peter. This, this, this ain't no us, Peter. <laughs> this ain't no us, man. It's, it's you. It's you. Medicine. <laughs> yep. MJ, sure. Medicine. Next up is another lovely MJ mission. But this one is so damn hectic. First off, Peter kind of loses his shit. And while Miles is trying to help him and save him, he gets captured by Craven. Craven then forces Miles to fight Martin Lee to the death. Martin Lee gets inside of Spider-Man's mind and he has to fight his inner demons now. And while doing that, he learns a new move called Reverse Flux. This move is tied to a trophy where that move has to affect six enemies at the same time. After that's all said and done, that finishes the story mission No Escape. So now Peter's on a war path to save Miles. So he tracks Craven down to beat him himself. But then Peter starts losing control. And after he saves Miles, he sees him as a threat. So you know what that means. Oh, I'm co oh, I'm cooked. What? I knew it. I knew I was going to have to freaking fight him, man. 
Oh my god. This is three phases too? Oh, he's parrying my ass. Dude, stop parrying me. I can do that. I'm the only one that's allowed to. Stop. I'm witnessing peak right now. Like, literal, like, I'm gonna think about this. This for a couple of days type of peak. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. Oh, 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 I'm getting through. I'm getting through. This is a good sign. One more phase. Oh, he is pissed. There's nobody else in Marvel doing it like Peter and Miles. Spider-Man and Spider-Man. That was so gas, dude. That mission was amazing. Oh my gosh. That was so good. And then perhaps the best mission in the entire game happens. I lost my shit. What? No! No way is this happening. Oh my god! Dude! You've gotta be kidding me! I can't believe I'm doing this right now! Bro, no fucking way! <laughs> no fucking way! Oh my god! I'm like a teenage girl that like found their their show crush. It's Venom. That that's my that's it's, it's Venom for me. Oh my god! I just fucking broke that guy's neck. Oh, I'm gonna jump on it, aren't I? Bitch! <laughs> oh. oh my god! This this tops everything I've I've ever played. This just tops it. And I'm fighting him again. Oh, you don't stand a chance, buddy. Oh, don't lick him. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, damn! You are playing dirty. And I just grew it back. Never mind. Not that dirty, I guess. How, how are you going to kill him? Oh, okay. Very humane, Mr. Venom. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What, did I get the bad ending or something? Was that just a dream? A night... Oh, okay, that was that was his fantasy, I guess. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I will leave you alone, don't worry. <laughs> I don't have any plans to mess with you. So now that Harry has the symbiote again, he's a little pissed. And he gives his 19 inches of venom straight to MJ. After which she becomes a symbiote too. And after I quickly whoop her ass... I get the trophy, I quit. Now all hell has broken loose. Everybody's turning into a symbiote and I have to fight them all. And while doing that, I get the trophy armed and dangerous for defeating 100 enemies with my spider arm abilities. And then I get absolutely dogpiled on. But Martin Lee comes in to save the day. And now Miles and Martin have to travel inside Peter's mind. And something crazy happens. Oh, what? Whoa, dude. What the fuck? After becoming Goonerman, we get a trophy for defeating a symbiote that is under the effect of anti-venom. And now it's time for the end of the game. The big showdown. Spider-Man versus Venom. Wow, you did that that quick? Oh my god, okay. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Snap out of it, Peter. Peter! Yeah! Let's go! I like... Dude! He does the shit when I can't even focus on him! There it is again. You fucker! Bitch, 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 bitch! Fuck you, Venom! Uh, what the fuck? What? Destroy it! Go on, Miles! Dude, Pete is standing on bitterness! Oh my god! <laughs> Miles? Oh, dude, they, they're doing the God of War shits. This is badass. Oh, my God. Oh, blast his arm with your thing. Come on. Yeah, MJ, good thinking. Good thinking, MJ. Oh, my God. Everything went according to plan for once. What have you done? <laughs> what? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. 
I'm coming with you. Wait. What? Why are you pissed? We literally revived him, and he's pissed about that. What the hell is the G serum? That does not sound good. That sounds like something straight out of like Resident Evil or something. The new normal. The new normal. Wait, that's gas. Is that really it? Oh God, damn it! Fuck! I want to see the Green Goblin. Is that Norman? He's wearing his black suit. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Spider-Man. You know who they are. You don't? don't you? How do you not know who they are? Why? Or at least Peter. Oh. <laughs> it's gas. And now it's time to start the cleanup process. So first I start by taking out all of the symbiote nests. But before I can complete that, I get the trophy surge for using my symbiote abilities 25 times during the surge mode. And then I finish up the last of the symbiote nests. Then I start hunting all of the robot birds and piecing together the mystery of why they keep scanning people that don't exist or have already died. Upon completing every single bird, we learn that Craven's brother Chameleon is still alive. And after that cutscene, I get the trophy data collector. Now we switch to Miles where we have to do all of the Mysterium collectibles. There are little challenges that you have to do. The criteria states that you don't have to get a gold medal or anything, you just have to beat it. So it really wasn't that difficult. But after beating the last one, a new one opens up where you have to fight Mysterio in a snow globe, which was just a sick ass boss fight. But after the boss fight's over, you get the trophy behind the masks. Still being Miles, I start going for all of the hunter bases. While I'm doing that, I get the trophy evolved for defeating 100 enemies with evolved venom abilities. And then I end up collecting a total of 10,000 tech parts, and then I reached max level. And once I reached max level, I was already on my last hunter base anyway, so I got that super quick. Next, we have to do all of Harry's collectibles. They're for his company, the Emily May Foundation, and it's just all about improving the quality of life. So we do many different puzzles, but after completing all of the puzzles, we get a shitty suit and an awesome trophy. <laughs> this looks like straight ass. <laughs> Foundational, <laughs> let's go. Then I fully max out all of my gadgets. Then I complete the saddest side quest in this entire game. I have to help Howard free his pigeons. And then what preceded that man, I could have never guessed. I'm a little cons concerned for Howard. Howard. Oh, he's gone. Looks like natural causes. What? Wow, I did not expect a mission about pigeons to get me. Now the last collectible I need is all of the spider bots. Now sadly, they don't show up on the map unless you have the tech skill unlocked. So I just looked it up. And once you get the last spider bot, it teases the multiverse. Since all of the collectibles are done, I'm gonna focus on side quests now. And first up is the FNSM requests. There is very little of these, but they're like little short stories. One has you playing fetch with a robot dog. The other has you playing as Haley painting. And they only take like five minutes. And once you finish them, all up, you get Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Since completing some of these side quests, I have enough hero tokens to fully upgrade my suit tech upgrades. Then I switch to Miles and start the hard bop quest line. It consists of only three missions, which like this whole game is relatively easy. You just have to find the stolen instruments and return them to the Met Gala in time for Rio Morales' party. Once that's all said and done, you earn my community. Then switching to Peter, I start the flame quest line. And this tease is Carnage. For I guess DLC or the next game, I really don't know. But after fighting Yuri, and then her saving me, but not liking me, but then liking me, I finished the mission, it was meant for me, earning the trophy Crimson Hour. And finishing up that questline got the last suit I needed for the trophy Kitted Out. And that questline was also the last thing I needed to 100% all districts. And the last four trophies I needed were extremely easy. First one, I had to use only my web wings and glide from the financial district to Arstoria. And then as Miles, I had to find the science trophy me and Finn won in the last game. And then I rounded the bases at the Big Apple Baller stadium and then as peter i visited aunt may's grave oh this is how i get the platinum man <laughs> oh my god show it dedicated let's go dude this was such an amazing platinum like experience dude it was <laughs> it was literally so much fun i i need more of these man i keep going for some fucking like super long platinums Platinuming multiple games in a series, and this was just nice, dude. It was it was just so much fun. And that's it for the video. Let me know if you guys want to see me platinum the PS3 Spider-Man games, because I know there's a ton of them, and I haven't played a single one. Also, quick thank you for last video. The support on that was astronomical. I did not expect it to do that well at all, so I appreciate it, because that took like 300 hours. Okay, but now I'm like, for reals, he's gonna leave.